encroachment. You know, lawyers are now doing crisis management. Marketers are in the relationship building mm -hmm. business. Um, what's public relations' role today? We talked about how it's changed over the years, and how we're more about relationships. But what's its role in today's society? Well, I think you know if you look at public relations and what it uh, what. It, how it fundamentally defines itself today and, and its work with relationships. Then it has to be, uh, for a client organization, a, a catalyst between um, the client company and all of its and all of its publics. Therefore, um, the the concern that we have when we're trying to practice public relations in its, in its uh, most sophisticated and most professional sense is that you must represent all those publics to the client within the organization and at the same time represent the client to, uh, to all those publics. So you have a unique position within uh, the corporation, or when you serve the client by way of uh, by way of agency work, and I'm not sure that you, I'm not sure that everybody loves you. Everybody ends up um, the the best you can hope for is that is that you build a relationship of. of of trust and understanding and respect so that even if, for example, you are not able to persuade uh, various interest groups out there that uh, the client company is um, something that they <coughs> want to support very actively, they at least will understand where the client company is coming from and they will at least trust what they say or what they hear uh, from the client company, so that they can have <coughs> that they can have an understanding and a dialogue of, of respect, a civil dialogue, rather than one that um, uh, is um, impetuous or one that that uh, is is a, a mistrusted. And some people within an organization, and you mentioned the lawyers, and that's interesting that you would mention a lawyer. You're a lawyer, right? I mean, uh, did everybody know that, that Dr. Gallo is a lawyer uh, by, by training and by practice, right? right? Before you came into public relations. So, uh, that's why I know whereof I speak. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you know, okay. Um, it is true that within an organization, and I ended up at the ripe age of 50 of jumping the traces from the agency world to, uh, to the corporate world. And it was apparent to me about the second week that I was in the corporate world that there was always going to be tension between the public relations side of the house and the lawyers. Um, at that time, the lawyers have learned a little bit, I think, and we have probably learned on our side of the fence a little bit as well. But at that time, uh, this was the early 70s, the, the lawyer's mantra was, say nothing, do nothing. Um, we will try this in court, and that's the proper forum for it, and nobody needs to worry about the outcome because we are smart lawyers. Uh, the public relations side of the house said, "Let's be open and honest. Let's um, let's you know tell our story out there." So there was this constant tension between law and and public relations. Both sides, I'm happy to say, have have, uh, have gotten a little smarter over the last generation. The lawyers have understood that you uh, that very often a case is tried in the media before it ever reaches the court. We've got, we've got a current case right now, uh, the Enron case, um, that, which, is, which is in the courts today. It's taken how many years, three or four years or longer, for that case to get into the court. In the meantime, it's been tried, certainly, in the press and radio and television. So you have 
um, both lawyers and public relations people who have been working on various sides of the fence vis-a-vis -vis that particular case, which is uh, a case that's captured a lot of headlines and a lot of, uh, a lot of interest. And so the lawyers and public relations people, smart ones anyway, have learned to have more respect for one another uh, than they had before. Uh, they are not necessarily playing different sides of the fence. They may, their practice will be at, in different arenas, the lawyers and the courts and the, and the public relations people in the, the press and media, but they respect one another more. Uh, and recognize that um, that they each have a role, and um, so it's. Uh, I think the re that relationship is uh, there's promise for it, uh, and I'm delighted that uh, you, as a lawyer, can bring that viewpoint to uh, mm -hmm. um, to the public relations educational community as well. We need more like you.